Hi, everybody. Today, I'm going to give a, a short little tutorial on document numbering of revisions. So normally, there are two systems that people will use for a document revision. But if you're not sure what I mean by a document revision, I'm sharing on my screen here a document control procedure, Medical Device Academies. It's our first procedure, SYS001. And in the top right-hand corner, it says revision. And next to it, it says AD16. And a lot of people, when they first see our system, they ask me, well, what is the D for? The D is the draft number. So when you approve your quality system procedures, <coughs> excuse me, you're probably going to have A is the first revision, B is the second revision, C is the third revision. But some companies like to use numbers instead. So first revision is one, second one's two, third one's three. So every time you make a change, you up the revision. But because our system was set up for ABC, but I wanted to have everybody start with A when they buy our quality system, I needed some way to track the numbers of our revisions that we were making as drafts. So what we came up with was a D number. So D1 is the first draft, D2 is the second draft. But when you buy our procedures, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up here to draft and you're going to delete the draft number because you're going to start with version one or ver revision A. You're going to change this logo to be your logo. So you, you put your logo here and you're going to put your name here instead of mine. So your name. And then down here for company name, you're going to put your company's name. So where it says company's name, you put you can put your name. But that's not the only way to number quality system procedures. You can use letter A, B, C. When companies do drawings, uh, engineering drawings for a part, a lot of times the convention that engineers will use is they'll use numbers when it's a draft and they'll use letters when it's final. So if you're making prototypes, this is revision one, this is revision two, revision three, they might have 27 different prototypes before they finalize the design and they say, okay, we're going to release this to the manufacturer and they're going to start making it in production. We're going to call this revision A. So now it's approved. And when we make a change, it'll become revision B. So that's another way of doing things. But there is a third way of doing things. And I actually kind of like the third way the best. And if I had known about it at the time I created my quality system, I probably would have done it that way. But I'm going to share with this with you. If you're going to be implementing a brand new quality system, the way you might consider doing it is the way software companies do it. Instead of revision A, when you're creating a draft or a revision one, try 0 0.1 for prototypes and drafts. You make your second draft prototype 0 0.2, 0 0.3. That comes from the software field where beta versions are often numbered zero point something. So every revision, you just change the number after the decimal place for a change. Now, when you finally decide you're done making prototypes, you're done with your beta version, now you're gonna switch to your final first release that you're gonna release commercially, it becomes revision 1.0. Now, so far, okay, what, val what value is this? The only thing it's doing is communicating very clearly whether it's a beta version or it's a finished release product by zero or a one. But here's where the genius in this method begins. If I make a minor change in the procedure that does not require retraining, I identify that change by changing the number after the decimal from 1.1, I'm sorry, 1.0 to 1.1. I make another change, it becomes 1.2. No training required for change after the decimal place. But if I make a major revision, now I change it to 2.0. That signifies that it's a major change, not a minor change, and training is required. So you don't have to write any words. You just have the convention of if the number after decimal changes only, then it's a minor change, no retraining is required. If the number before the decimal changes, it's a major revision and training is required. And if that's your convention and you stay consistent with that, no need to say anymore or write anymore. And 
it, it's it seems simpler to me than remembering when it's letters and numbers. Just have it all be like software. So if you're familiar with software and you're used to this kind of convention and it makes sense to you, go with it. If it makes no sense to you, just forget everything Rob said and just do your ABC like everybody else. It's not wrong. It's just different. So if it makes sense to you and you like it, go with it. If you don't like it and it makes no sense to you, forget what I said and just stick with ABC. I hope that helps you understand. But that's this week's quality system tip. Bye-bye.